Hello. Hello. I'm Witless. And I'm Errol. <laughs> and we are here with uh, this week's We Review. And yes. we are going to talk about... Two movies. Two movies. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. And they're both ghost stories. One ghost is stories. The Woman in Black, which Woman came out in last Black. week. Woman in Black, yes. And the other one is The Innkeepers, which is playing on a limited release now in Toronto. Um, at the TIFF. At the TIFF Lightbox, Lightbox Theater. Thing. So, so we went to two movies this week. Yeah. So I've been busy. Yeah. Like, you know, she's two. used to going out and having fun and partying because she's young and trendy. That's I'm not. Me. This is not something I do. I'm home being a respectable person. <laughs> no, I'm just going to go ahead and say no. What? How do you know what I do at home? I'm because you have me over all the time. <laughs> That's why. Really? No, no, you didn't come Wednesday. Yeah, because I, <laughs> oh. I finally discovered the joys of boundaries. <laughs> what? It was, we had lots of fun. We're having fun now. Yeah, yeah, we're having so fun I guess now. It's Tuesday right now. and Thursday. Yeah. And Friday. And Friday and. Uh, Are you busy tomorrow? Yes. Why? What are you doing? I don't we could know do, yet. We could do videos for that for that song I wrote. Wouldn't that be awesome? No. Yeah. No. Anyway, we are here. We'll never get because we have two films to review. Two films in fifteen minutes. So this is I don't watch. Challenge I don't today. watch actually a lot of scary movies. No. So, no, I watch a few. I freaking love scary she does. movies. And, so... and I, 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 even though I get really easily scared in scary movies and scary games and anything scary. And I'm sorry, really. did I ruin it for you? Because sometimes the thing, the thing, <laughs> starting off with the did woman you, in did black. Did you? Did he ruin it for me? <laughs> Did I? He's sitting there next to me, just like <laughs> every once in a while. I love to, to help with the mood of scariness, so that you know it's kind of scary I when I poked you. Need your help. Did it scare you when I poked you? <sighs> yes, but the teenagers <laughs> yes. helped balance it out. We that were in the, is true. the woman in black was unfortunate because we were in the theater with a bunch of teenagers who clearly were there for another movie, but it was sold out or something. Or, or so. they were there because they all like Radcliffe. Or yeah, they all wanted to see Harry Potter. That was the huge draw of this movie, was that it it was Daniel Radcliffe's first film role since Harry Potter, and they, everyone wants to see how he's fared up, or how he measures up when he's not in a Harry Potter movie. He still looks young. He still looks young. I feel Very like this young. was a bad role for him to take right off the bat. I feel like, yeah. But I, he did well. He did I well. Really he did fine. well enough. I just, he kind of, unfortunately, he got a character that wasn't too... Yeah. Meh. His... I would probably expect somebody older, like Hugh Jackman or something like that. Hugh Jackman. What? What's wrong with Hugh Jackman? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah. Although I'm not thinking of him like you're thinking of him. Mm. Daniel Radcliffe plays this guy, Arthur, I think his name is? Arthur. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he plays a guy named Arthur. Arthur Dent. No. No. A little off. Way oh. off, actually. Let me just get through the plot, and then you can say whatever you- Wait, Ooh. no! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, okay, I take that back! That was a mistake! Anyway, so Daniel Radcliffe plays a guy named Arthur. He's a lawyer, and he has a son, and I kind of liked how, at the beginning, the, like, they're trying to display- he, his wife died in childbirth, and he's still very oh, grim about that. Oh, gave away the movie. It happens at the beginning! Yeah, that's true. Up did it better, making it really sad. Yeah, this one wasn't so, like, you kind of knew his wife had died right at the beginning, he's very grim, and his son kind of suffers for it, and, uh... He just starts off emo. He basically. starts off emo. His son, when he's drawing pictures of him, even draws him with a sad face. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, so yeah, he's a grim kind of guy, and he's sent off to this little unknown village to to work out the uh, sale of a house, and, uh, and... everybody hates him. Everybody hates him right off the bat. Like, they go into town, and so everyone's just... So there's no happy times in this, in this movie. Yeah, movie. there's just this ominous sort of feel over the entire town. Like, they're all sort of haunted in a way. Like, they're, yeah. they all feel the effects of this one ghost, as mm -hmm. it were. So yeah, Daniel Radcliffe, even though everyone's like, don't go to that house, they even, like, 
pack up all the papers for him. They try to make uh, sure he doesn't go. They're like, look, we arranged it all for you. He's like, yeah, thanks. I'm going to go to the house now. And of course, it's a house that's like located across a boggy marsh that, you know, gets flooded every night so no one can leave at night and it's hard to get to and yeah. it's this... So this is not a slasher kind of no. horror film. It's not a horror film. It is a ghost. It's a ghost story. It's and a ghost story. it gets really it it does have a slow build to it mm -hmm. a bit or like it has a very quiet pace in between the ghost parts. Yeah. When the ghost parts do come up, they are very tense. You They're hear tense. the bumps they in are. the house and you hear that I I my arms are still sore from staying like this the entire and movie. Then I poke her. Yes, and then I scream a little on the inside. It was genuinely creepy. The only thing is, once you saw the ghost, yeah. it kind of got... That was what... Like, the best parts of the movie were where you weren't... Again, the less you see, the more scary it is. It's what you don't see that's the scary. And they rested too much on all the all the scary ghosts. Yeah, so. they rested too much on seeing that ghost. Because they'd hold on her. And then you're like, okay, yeah, there she is. There she is. And uh, you do find out her backstory and, mm -hmm. like, why... She's and haunting it's interesting. things, and yeah, it is the backstory. So it's an interesting backstory. It is an interesting backstory. It is a good like the the houses. I love haunted houses. The, like the set is beautiful. It's actually gorgeous, and the I the set is absolutely beautiful. I feel really bad for nineteenth century kids because uh, they had nothing but creepy toys. Yeah. Like they, they like you see kids like being enticed it's with these like, toys. It's like you know that funny like, p um, monkey, monkey puppet. Imagine if every toy is like that, yeah. except in another creepy way. <laughs> or like you have clowns just sitting there, like, back and forth, and... Stop that, please. <laughs> in comparison to The Ring, I would say, not that you'd hold that up to be like one of the cent, but I would think it's kind of like the whole it scary... Because there is a mystery to be solved, and mm -hmm. there is like, um... Uh, yeah, the, the actually it's sort of the same. Um, the central conceit of the the woman in black is that these kids in town keep dying, and they keep tending to die of their own hand. Like mm -hmm. the very top of the movie, it's these three girls, which by the way, who apparently are sisters, but don't look anything alike. They don't look anything alike. They all look but the I same age. But I think they're age. all triplets. And yeah, it I thought they weird. were all friends playing Me together, too. But and then, then but then you find out that they're she was like my baby. And yeah, yeah, they so, all jump out a window at the beginning of the movie, and uh, kids so die a lot. In this kids movie. die a lot in this all movie, and the in the ring it was sort of the same thing. She was yeah, trying to save her son. They were teenagers. They were teenagers, and they were stupid. But the ring that did a good job of keeping that intensity. And every time you saw that freaky girl, you were still scared. <laughs> yeah, after, I, you didn't want to see her face anymore. And again, yeah, it was one of those like with the ring, and I think it built it a bit better than Woman in Black with the ring. Like, when you saw that that girl, um, yeah, it was just with the hair over yep. her face. And, or you saw her in flashback mode when, it was, when she was alive. Normal. And she was creepy looking back then. And she was creepy looking back then. And it wasn't until the end where you saw her in full ghost form. And I remember and when I first creepy. saw that movie, that was the creepiest thing. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, but this one, this one, like, yeah, you saw the ghost pretty early on, and after that it was like... There were a few freaky times after, after that, it, a while. Yeah, after that I was still tense and I was still kind of scared, but it was mostly because I was waiting for the next jump scare. Like, and they and had a this, lot of those. And then there's this dead son, um, and oh, he, yeah. he wasn't even that scary when I finally saw him go... Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not, he wasn't like... Uh, He's no, like he's, you, yeah, you saw, you see things like crawling out of the marsh at one point, and yeah. and, uh, and the dead children weren't scary. Uh, the dead uh, children weren't scary. No, no, they had they had like makeup under. They had emo eyes. Yeah. <laughs> That's all they had. They were just... so by the end of it, I think it was it, it built up, but yeah. then all of a sudden it hit some sort of okay, we scared you enough. Let's just go on to let's just go. Yeah, because I was waiting for the the big. Haunting yeah. or the big like climax. And then at the moment. end, um, I was expecting a twist. I don't want to ruin it. I'm not going to ruin it. But then there wasn't, and I was like, oh, yeah. Then it was over. Yeah, oh. and I don't know. I was very dissatisfied with the ending, actually. Yeah, me too. Um, I'll see if you guys can guess why. Uh, because I just I felt bad for a few of the characters. Yeah, um, no, that's true. Yeah. No, I did too as well. So, so um, yeah. Anyway, but it wasn't bad. I think wasn't... Rotten Tomatoes rates it at sixty eight percent or sixty seven, which is, like, it was good because it was scary. It was scary. And, and it was it was the the set is amazing. 
Yeah. And it's uh And Daniel Radcliffe did well with what mm -hmm. he was given. Yeah. Like yeah. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It wasn't so great, but, but it wasn't bad. The interesting thing was when I was looking up reviews on the Woman in Black and everything, I read this one review and it kind of gave a middling review of, of it and uh, and then it said if you want to see a really good ghost story, go and see The Innkeepers. It's playing a limited release right now. So I was like, okay. So I look up this movie called The Innkeepers. I tell Errol about it because apparently that's the better ghost story. And uh, I look it up and there's good reviews of it, right? And so we went and... And we after I saw, you know, I think after I saw The Woman in Black, and I wasn't blown away by The Woman mm -hmm. in Black, was fine. But thinking, yeah. oh good, so we, we can see a really good ghost story. A really good ghost story. Man really is going to take me scary. to a really good ghost story. And so, it has... It has 76, 78 percent or something crazy yeah. like that on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, it was considered better than The Woman in Black. So we get there and the movie starts up and uh, it has a promising start. It shows like creepy old photos of this hotel. It's about two innkeepers, Yeah, that's the obviously. credits. <laughs> that's the credits. It's photos. The promising start is the credits. <laughs> it's the credits. And then the actual movie starts up and it's about... This, well, it's mostly about this girl who works at a hotel, and it's closing down this in, uh, on the weekend, and her and her co-worker, uh, her, their hobby is trying to search for this ghost in the hotel, and they have all the ghost recording equipment in that. Um, it was... I was trying to... Now, I'm not an expert, <laughs> okay? And I wouldn't be able to act myself out of anything. Uh... Except for maybe if I'm trying to trick Mandek, but she's gullible, so... <laughs> but really, wow, oh... Um... I couldn't tell if the dialogue was bad, or, or if I'm just... Or or all my friends just talk like that, and I just think it's... it's I don't know what normal looks um... like on the screen anymore. No, I just... It was... The like, first part, the, the sad thing, the first half of the movie, and this movie is an hour and 45 minutes, yeah, right? Yeah. The first half of the movie, I think, wants you to be endeared to the characters. Yeah, they try and get you to know the characters a bit. Well, the character, the main right, one, The anyway. main character. So, like, she's this quirky, you know, young... She doesn't young, seem that quirky, for that she, matter. Well, they're trying to paint her as quirky, because, like, and, uh... She doesn't wear socks with her shoes. I don't see how she's quirky, really. And, you know, and she and she goes to the barista and, and says a smart aleck thing about the cyclops or whatever. Yeah. And but no, she's she's not that quirky. Like no, you get to know some, her a bit, yeah. and she's aimless in life, like they always are, right? And uh, there's a lot of <sighs> yeah. There's a lot of this talk with 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 people. Uh, a lot of talk with the character between the characters. It's like, do you ever feel like? You should have made different choices in life, and and uh, it's like we're gonna get down to one of these again. And her coworker, <laughs> poor Errol, who likes designing websites so much, <laughs> <laughs> he I know, loves actually. it. And Errol's the guy. Okay, just as a bit of a preface, Errol's the guy. When I first went to go see a movie with him, he was like, "Just so you know, I never really talk during movies." I don't. <laughs> and, I don't. Talk and he did. He sat there like concentrating on the movie and trying to be engaged and everything. And we'd say. He'd, Say something to each other once in a while. This movie was just right from the beginning. Was, I couldn't stop talking. I'm going. Is this me or are they? Is this bad acting? I don't know. Yeah, he's like, I'm is this really bad noticing. acting? And the music. She's an actor. She would know. It I'm wasn't going, good acting. And the music was kind of indicating that it should be a comedy or a Pixar the music movie. Was weird. Not not it was like, a. Miss Reese Jones, I have your towels. Yeah, and we're like, you know, to go walk in and be like, it'd be like this yeah. music. And as I was like, I, I'm sorry, was there a ghost in this movie that we were supposed to be getting to yeah, at some and point? It, it and took forever to get to the ghost part. And, and there'd be all sorts of like fun little scenes of. <laughs> See, like there was a, two guests scenes. at the hotel that only play. Oh, that only have one role, which is to to piss off the innkeepers. Basically, mm -hmm. they don't play any other role. At some point, they leave the hotel and they're like, "Bye, see ya," and that's it. And not only that, but they they build up weird random plot points that like weren't really that weren't really points. relevant. Like right from early on, you establish that 
like these guests come down, they're like, there are no towels in our room. And the guy's yeah. like, okay, I'll bring you up towels, because this guy keeps forgetting. They do it again, being like, there's no towels in that room. And they're like, fine, we'll bring up towels. I'm like, really building up this towel thing. I wonder what it's going to lead to. Do you know what it led She's to? She's in it. Yeah, go ahead. It led to, it was basically an excuse to get her in a shower scene, and then she opens up the curtain, and it's like, there are no towels no there. Towels. Towels. So it's an excuse for her to be naked. <laughs> well, she's not naked in the film, but no. maybe they just wanted to maybe, film her like that. I, I don't, don't know. know. And then they never bring it up again. Yeah, no. And it was just I thought weird. the towels were going to play some important role with the ghost or something. Like the they ghost just is stealing towels. You, well, and that would have made sense. Something could have built towards the plot, and yeah. a lot of stuff didn't. It didn't. It just. <laughs> Like you're waiting, I was like, what's this? And it could like some of that stuff is used intelligently in other movies, yes. like like the red herrings, you know, you think, oh, maybe this is like no, no, it's not. It was it was this all along. But you know, if it led you in a different direction, then I could yeah. understand some. And like there's one genuinely creepy scene, like where they they were kind of trying to be like paranormal activity in that they were, you know, using recording the ghost mm -hmm. sounds as a way to, to detect it and everything and and so one one scene, she's sitting there with an EVP recorder, listening. Which to the I ghost. learned was an electromagnetic. That's an EMT meter, oh. and the e <laughs> EVP recorder. Uh, I'm a nerd. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know games. very much about how to find ghosts, but, but Manda's played enough games that she knows. It was funny because it reminded me very much of a game which I just lent Errol. Uh, oh, Lost Crown! The Lost <gasps> Crown. Which oh, is that what you lent me? Yeah. Oh, so cool. I lent you that because that's is it where they scare me a little. Yeah. Oh, can you play it with me then? Yeah. So it reminded me of that game, but that game did it well. Like it used it used those devices very well in building atmosphere. This one, not so much. There is one cool part that I did yeah. like, is like, she's listening with this recorder right, on. Right, yeah. And then she starts to hear something, like a piano playing. Mm -hmm. And then what she does is she, rem and then you can hear it through the recorder, and then she removes the earpiece to see if it's in real life, and then immediately cuts to real. And I just thought that was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was no that that part was cool. That was the one. And I think it was like. the first time, and that you see any indication that there might be a ghost in this in this yeah. thing. And this was like I think probably forty five minutes into this the was, movie. It was like the first. I mean, there's at, well, the, it wouldn't be so bad if it was atmosphere building yeah. as well. And then not only that, but this guy, this other character, the the innkeeper, or the no, or no, the sorry, the co worker, uh, the guy. He uh, he has a he's the one who started all of this. Uh, ghost recording. Oh yeah, you were going to talk everything. about the the website. Yeah, and... so he's the one that started all this ghost recording and everything, and he starts this website. Like that's how you get a lot of your exposition of their ghost hunters or whatever. So he starts this website. And he opens it up. She's like, "How's the website going?" And he goes to show her, and the website is like, seriously, it's it's something you'd see in 1995. It is. It's it is it's like it has website. a little animation of a ghost. Yes. It has like. The funny thing, later on in the movie, she tries to find a link and it goes to an under construction page with 80 GIFs on it. Yeah. GIFs. And it was like, and they're all going, this, no, it's a really good website. Yeah, it's been killing me. I've been working on it. Oh, yeah, he's like, I so sunk I think that's so much money funny. into yeah. it. Yeah. And, and I was like, thinking, how much money? And how would you, like, when did this movie come out? And yeah. so I couldn't tell if and they not, were trying to make a joke about that. And not only or, that, but later on, he, he like... You know, once the ghosty things start happening a little more, he gets freaked out and he goes to leave. She's like, where are you going? And, he's, and he basically says Spoiler like... Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. He basically says like, oh, I never saw a ghost before. I never wanted to do this stuff. I'm like, then why did you buy the microphone and sink your money into your website? All and Who knows? I don't so, care if I'm spoiling in this movie. I don't want anyone to go and there see There was it. a There were a lot of inconsistencies A lot in of inconsistencies. Movie. That didn't make any sense to me. And like the woman in black, once you saw the ghost... It, which you saw, and it was actually a dream ghost, so it wasn't it was even a real one. Ghost. It was one that you dreamt. Yeah. And uh, and they, and, but they, they didn't do the whole. You see a snatch of her. No, it was mm -hmm. like. Oh, there she is. There she is. I see everything. Yeah, yeah. and I've seen everything. <laughs> and then there, there's the most awkward love talk scene yeah, in the world. <laughs> Errol was killing himself, <laughs> and there's like people right next to us trying to take the movie seriously. Oh, I'm sorry. Was no. I loud? 
<laughs> well, I was I was worried, but then I saw the older woman next to us laughing as oh, well. Good. So I felt safe. But there was the first little while where I was looking. She's like, she's she's older. She must really want to respect this movie and stuff. And and I thought I was quiet. I was there, trying to be quiet. Um, I know I was going. <laughs> Yeah, a lot. So sorry. there's this scene where like it's obvious that this guy likes this girl, and it was just so awkward because she would be like, he'd be like, "You're like the prettiest, coolest person I know in the world." And she and looks about sixteen, and he looks about like, twenty-eight. Yeah, he looks like a guy who lives in his mom's basement. So it's pretty like, creepy, actually. Yeah. There's this one part that you know, she goes downstairs with him, and they're trying to find the ghost. And I thought the most scariest part is just how creepy he looked, actually. <laughs> well, his glasses yeah. were shadowed and made his eyebrows look evil. <laughs> so, yeah. he was looking all intense and everything, and I was like, he looks like he's about to stab now, me. Now, the one guy, like, wrote, directed, and edited the whole thing. So yeah. That's, that's a lot of work. Yeah. But and I don't see how... The best casting choice, I guess, would be the old guy. Yeah, the old man was He was creepy. creepy. Almost like you're right at home. What do you think? I don't know. Why don't we get you upstairs? He was like, creepy. there's an old guy who comes into the hotel. He's like, I'd like this is room act four or something three, like that. five, three, and uh, they're yeah. like, well, that's not available. He's like, room three, five, and you would hope they would explain three. that part, but they didn't. They didn't. No, there was no. so much. I there's think that so was so much not explained. Like. How did he fit in? Is it just something we just don't know? But I, there's so many things that we that, that there's so many things that come explained. up. A psychic comes, not a, a spiritual healer yeah. comes, a and then she, and then she says somewhere along the lines, "Oh, there are three spirits." And you're like three. Oh, why? Oh my God, this oh, is interesting. God. They. There are three of them. What do they want? Same thing you do. Do they know? Never brought up again. They don't even reference how there could be free three spirits anywhere. No. And I think that was the main thing was like, there was just no real, I mean, there's certain things like I'm a firm believer of, you know, there's some things that remain unexplained, yeah, you know? We're However, that. we do like, like need something, you know, like we do need, like, I think there was less story backstory to that one in, than the woman in black. And the woman in black's ghost story was a fairly simple one. It was. And, uh, it made sense. It made, it made sense. sense. And this Why one, the ghost there was, was just so much potential for a cool ghost story to be there. Or like, because it seemed like there was more to it than what the original ghost story was. And never again. And it's funny though, like in the woman in black, she's... She's an antagonistic ghost from the get-go. Yeah. She is not She's like, I am ghost. here to smack you silly. Yes. And she is angry. She's yeah. going to do all sorts of bad things. So you don't, yeah. you have no, you have no question of her motives. But in the, this, the innkeeper's one, you, she doesn't appear ever. They're all so confused about her until that one day. Yeah. Until and then all of this like, blown out, let's yeah. go and make life crazy. But it's funny though, because like, unlike, like, with the woman in black, you know, it's a secluded house and everything, so yeah. the stakes are raised. When he's at the house, you know that there's no real way he can go back to get help. With the innkeepers, like, when they're running out of the house, they're like, oh god, like, when the one guy leaves, she's like, what am I gonna do now? I'm like, what do you mean, what are you gonna do? You can just go. Like, <laughs> there's, there's no real, there's nothing really at stake here. All that really happened was a ghost said hello, yeah. and then went away. And and now you're all freaking out. I'm like, no, you could just... And for that matter, she saw the ghost. They're, this is also weird, because she's... They're downstairs. She sees the ghost, and she, and then he freaks out. Yeah. And she sees her the ghost, apparently. And they don't show us what the ghost looks like. No. Every other time they show us what the ghost looks like, it's hideous. It's dead. It's, 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 it's like a zombie. It's a zombie ghosty thing. But, like... But for some reason, her looking at that one ghost was all... Yeah, she's like, look behind you! Her. And then he doesn't end up looking behind him. He just runs, which is what I would do yeah, uh, in those situations. So it just doesn't... There's a lot of things that just... I mean, and I know it's a ghost story, but there's so many things There's that so make many sense. inconsistencies, and there's so many times... I know it's cliché. Like, scary movies can get cliché, but I don't know why this one seemed like it was overplaying Over, all of the clichés. Yes. Like, but not in an ironic way. Right, right down to the let's split up. Like, yeah. also, yeah. Well, like this this really freaky thing just happened. Okay, you stay here, I'm gonna go to the other end of the hotel. And, and like, so there's one thing I don't do 
and that's yell advice to characters on screen. But in the last part, I, yeah. I couldn't stop. All he was like, just like, call the police! It's call true. them! It's like, there's, there's were no phone lines guns. cut? No. No. Were, yeah, nothing. were lights, were pow was power cut? No. Like I said, nothing was at stake. Nothing was cut. <laughs> The ghost, like, all the, there was only one rule. Don't go down to the basement. There was a, but she did. But There's she like, did again after she got breaked out and after she basically was told she's going to die if she go. It's, it didn't make sense why she even headed in that direction. It was like, and so she's at the top of the stairs calling out for another character who doesn't answer. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's calling, she thinks they're down there even though they pretty much made it apparent that they would never go down there again. Um, so she's like, what's that sound? Are you Lee? there? Is are that you? There? you? And you're like, are you there? And... And I'm going, no, leave. Anyway, I'm sorry, you know, I'm. this is like a really rant kind of thing, because the Innkeepers was really bad. Yeah, it was, it was too, because I thought, this is great, we're going to compare the two. It's and gonna Amanda be... brought me to this I movie. Know, I know, I And maybe it's because she hyped it up about how amazing it is. But it's not. I don't see what's so amazing about no, this movie. No, I, 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 well, I felt bad at first for dragging your old to it, but I figured nah, he kind of had it coming anyway, oh, so. Why? I no, I'll spend all my time with Manda because she's a good actor and she's fun to hang out with. Wow, we almost got through an entire <laughs> review without you mentioning that. I felt like I felt bad because it did have the potential, but like one, yeah, you're right. The pacing was off, the scariness really just the, the tension wasn't was there, off. and the house didn't really have a character to it. Like that's the kind of thing in a haunted house movie. The Except house the is a character. And Except they only the went down there twice. Twice, <laughs> stupidly. Yeah. Like the first time you go down, to, oh, that was my other question. Like, really, nobody in the history of this hotel has gone down to the basement ever. Or if they really, they were going through the whole the whole hotel because every night this is what they do. They try to take these recordings and they do the ballroom, yeah. they do the laundry room, and yet it seemed they knew that she was buried in the basement. So you would yeah. think if they're going to do any of that, why, why not, not the basement? basement? <laughs> All the time. That's it's like, no, they're doing, like, every single room and every single... Uh. So, in conclusion... In conclusion... If you were, also were to go into Rotten Tomatoes, you'll see that the the, the reader's choice percentage of, of the innkeepers is, like, around 46%. And that's about a, a good that's assessment a good of reading. it. I would um, probably go lower, actually. Like, if you want to see it with Errol, it's great to see him... Riff during a movie. Because I don't Mr. do that. No talk, You've Errol. gone to enough movies. It's with the only me. place where Errol won't talk. Wow. So. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? No. no. <laughs> so, but it was it was so depressingly. Yeah, um, I wanted it to be good. I really did. And there were scary and parts. So yeah, there was a little bit of scare. There's just been a little bit of scare, but I was more scared doing Woman in Black. Yeah. For sure. No, Woman in Black. And I was attention. more scared playing The Lost Crown. Actually, so I would yeah. If you're gonna if you're gonna go for a good ghost story, like one with a lot of backstory and interesting stuff, the ring is cool. The ring is cool. <laughs> Even paranormal activity is cool. That's not a ghost story, but, no. Um, but that's a good movie. Um, and play a game like The Lost Crown or Dark Fall. Those are great for good ghost story games. And um, stay away from the innkeeper unless you just want to go to see. Maybe you will go to it and think it's much better. You know but no other reader, only the critics seem to like this movie. I, I don't know why. I I, don't know. I feel like maybe I, they're friends. Maybe with they them. were watching a different movie. I don't know, but no. it, was, uh, it was. I don't know. It's a great riffing movie. Actually, mm -hmm. it's a great movie to make fun of if like you rent it sometime or something. Uh, and I don't rant at things, so just, uh... <laughs> Call the police! Was, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> he was having an aneurysm I was. next to me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, we should end it at that. Yes. So, this was actually probably our most focused one. I know. Wow. See, you just have to he find just, something bad enough. He hated it that much that he could focus on it and not talk about anything else. It's been on his mind. I know. <sighs> Take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. We review. Bye. My name is Errol. And I'm Weightless. Take care. Take care.